Hello Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. This is for September 12th through the 18th and 19th, around that time. Weekly reading. Messages for Capricorn Sun, Moon Rising. Let me do another shuffle. Right, messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. All right. Ooh, you have the Ace of Cups, High Priestess. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Eight of Cups, Ace of Coin, Four of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Eight of Coin. First thing before I even just, it feels like somebody may have new love coming in, but they may go back to the past or they have an offer from the past. We'll see. High Priestess, I like this because it's like, this could definitely be somebody new coming in with Ace of Cups and you're feeling it like in your bones, you're feeling it in your intuition like this is somebody new. Okay, what is this Eight of Cups though, over here? Now again, this could be that you are walking away from old emotions and feelings or something like that. It doesn't have to be actually walking away from a person or a job or something or moving. But what is the Eight of Cups? Letting go of the past. Death, yeah. Hermit, okay, some of you in judgment. Wow, some of you have been really healing. That's major powerful energy that you've been going through so we have scorpio virgo taurus energy but more than likely this is about a transformation and that's what the eight of cups is that you walked away from the past the pain the feelings emotions whatever it was a situation and now you're even looking back for some of your judgment you're reviewing it so what's happening here though for some of you is that you have new love coming in and you know it, the high priestess you have an offer from the past four of cups from from the ex coming in also more than likely you don't want it or you may not want it i should say you may see what you've been through what this person from the past put you through let's go to the six of cups six of cups you have the four swords some more thinking two of cups moon energy so it could be a pisces so two of cups now this person was your soulmate but we have more than one soulmate and while under the deck is lovers though also with this person wow so this could be a very difficult decision for some of you because you have a very strong connection with this past person definitely with both two of cups the moon lovers showing up but at the same time this ace of cups is showing so let's go here ace of cups please universe nine of wands you feel worn out okay so maybe you feel it's easier to go back to the past you already know this person you guys are familiar we have the wheel of fortune and we have the tower under the deck is the eight of wands just to, so this new love eight of ace of cups wow so some of you may have you know broken up with somebody in the past moved on met someone new this isn't working out this new person it's not going well what is the tower energy Maybe they live at a distance and the tower just represents having to move. The tower, please. There's an eight of wands. Yeah, it was under the deck. So there's communication, there's movement here. Let's see what else comes in though. I'm sorry, this is the seven of wands. This is the eight of wands. So under the deck is the five of wands, though it is in reverse. So a lot of wands, a lot of passion with this new person. A lot of like okay so it kind of looks like the new person could be for lack of a better word off the top of my head kind of stressful there's a lot going on there's a lot of passion though it may not be sexual passion though because it's just like there's a lot of um it looks like it's very turbulent like there's back and forth you got the nine of wands you got the seven of wands you got the eight of wands you got the tower i mean i would like to say that this is really like hot passionate but this may not be this just may be a lot of stress and drama so that may be why some of you are realizing the past. Maybe you are going to go back to the past and you're realizing the person from your past, it was true love. Because you do have the ace of coins. So let's look at this. Now this could be a new offer from an earth sign like yourself or job. Ace of coin, please. I think this is the other person. You have nine of cups, wish fulfilled. Five of coins out in the cold though. Magician manifesting in three of cups, a celebration. For some of you, you are getting some type of job promotion and you want to celebrate it, but you don't have anybody to celebrate it with. This is what I'm picking up with the five of coins. Oh, there's nobody there to celebrate with you out in the cold. So what you're manifesting is the three of cups, which can be a celebration. 
or a date or somebody new because if you have a wish something something coming in that you want to be excited about and happy and you want to share this with your partner or your person and you turn around and like no one's there you're like well wait a minute so i feel like some of you are in between relationships some of you i don't know if you, you are already experiencing this new ace of cups this new person that's coming in and just you know just because Sometimes even I get thrown as a reader, but you see Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, and you think, oh, love is here, it's gonna be wonderful, it's gonna be magical. No, it's not. I mean, we we date new people all the time, right? We find out, well, this is not the one for me. This person, you know, has this and that. I don't like them, so you move on. Um, so you have this new person who is either with you now, Ace of Cups, or coming in, but it's not gonna be an easy, an easy road with this person. So I'm not sure what the drama is. It could be so many different things. It looks like maybe it could take off after you move or make some changes, but it makes you evaluate the person you are with. Some of you are definitely, a lot of you have definitely healed. You have gone through like an awakening. You have been, you know, death, hermit, and judgment. That's a lot of serious, uh, heavy energy to go through, but you've come out the other side or you're coming out the other side right now with the Eight of Cups. So you may... Think about somebody that you once knew in the past, somebody that you had this strong connection with. Uh, I'm seeing that an offer is coming through. I'm actually getting that you are not going to be the one making the offer. The other person is going to be making the offer to you. And there's going to be a connection here. There's going to be a date. There's going to be something that makes you very happy. Now, this may not be a recent ex. Some of you are saying, hell no, I wouldn't go back to that person. There's no way. Maybe the other person's already moved on. This could be somebody you knew. Six of Cups. Does not ha and it could be with the moon. Sometimes the moon is like it's not the person you were expecting. It's not the person from you know six months ago. It could be the person from six years ago or you know far back. Because four of swords, it's almost like telling me stop and think. Who is that person? Who is that person who really cared about you? Who really showed you that they loved you? But at the time you weren't open to them. You weren't ready for them. You thought oh this isn't romantic enough or exciting enough or now you. Some of you, maybe there was someone who really loved you, but it just didn't seem like it was exciting. Maybe you thought, oh, this is gonna be boring, you know. So now you got something exciting here, you guys. You got something that's, you know, you got tower energy going on and nine of wands, you look pretty beat up. So it's, it's definitely not a dull moment with this person here, this new one. But now all of a sudden you're like, you know what? I've grown out of that, I've grown up. I don't want, I don't want that kind of drama. I don't wanna bring that into my life. I want somebody who loves me for, le for me, someone who is steady, so it might be a Pisces, keep that in mind. Some people from our past though, I don't know, you may not even know their sign, so. But I feel like you would know, like you would feel, like I feel like this person, like again, like when you were down, they were there to lift you up. If you needed a date for the, for an occasion, they would go with you. You know, you had to go to a wedding, you don't, you weren't dating anybody at the time, they went with you, you guys had a great time. Maybe even thought, why don't I date this person? Why aren't we together? And then you thought, oh, you know, they, they're not that fun, they're not exci that exciting, maybe they're not really all that attractive, or, you know, whatever, you think, oh, that's not my type, or, you know, this or that. I'm thinking there's a connection with somebody that you are realizing that, that the, their love for you was amazing but either i don't think you guys were ever together though i'm really not getting it's somebody you were actually dated in a relationship sense but it would probably be for some of you but there's a lot of you viewing so in some sense this was somebody who i feel was was a right the right hello was the right one for you okay something yeah this could be the one okay so they keep going back to like there's a tie-in with this person there's that you can go back to this person. Again, I don't get it's an ex for a lot of you, so don't get like all crazy that I don't want my ex back. This was like a friend almost. Like I'm getting like a friend vibe. <clears throat> okay, and then unrequited love wants to flip around. Okay, that's a let go of control issues and keep an open mind. Now unrequited love could go could be with this person up here. Let me do another card. You deserve love. Okay, and chemistry is under the deck. Because I'm getting that this person up here, especially with you deserve love, this person up here, this is not love. This is like a drama. I mean, there may be a lot of sex, a lot of passion, a lot of fighting and making up, but I feel like it's not love. It's not, 
It's not going to last the test of time. Yeah, they're the bad boy, the bad girl. They're exciting. They're fun. But is this, is this what you want? Is this really what you want? And I'm just getting that this is not the person that you want to you want to spend forever with. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I get there's a lot of chemistry for some of you, and there is attraction here, so that's not true. I get that there's no stability. There's no like long term. You know, I want to I want to work things out with this person. This is you know, it's just too much drama. Sometimes when it's just too much drama, it's just too much work. So because this is how I'm seeing you, Capricorn. So this person, however. Well, this is saying you deserve love. So whenever I get this card, it always tells me that the person you're with it doesn't, is not loving you in the way that you deserve to be loved. They are not compassionate. They are not caring. They are not putting you first at least half the time. You know, I mean, there's got to be some give and take here. So where this other person, when they gave us this could be the one, there is somebody, there's, and I'm getting with the Four of Cups. Yeah, there may have been an opportunity missed with this person, but you can get it back. Or there will be communication. For some of you, you already communicate with this person now. You know who this is. This person comes to you when you need them. A lot of you have overlooked this person. And in fact, some of you, I think, have treated this person poorly. In fact, you kind of have treated them as a doormat, as someone that, you know, or maybe this is how they've treated you. This could be totally opposite in turn. Maybe someone is realizing this about you, Capricorn, that you were there to pick up the pieces. You were there to wipe their tears. You were there to, you know, give them a shoulder to cry on and to, and I, I'm getting though when the two of you get together, I mean, it, it's like, there's just fun. I'm seeing you guys going out for, you know, uh, frozen yogurt or something. I'm seeing you guys getting ice cream or something. I'm seeing you guys do, just do simple, fun things and, and you're happy when you're with them. But yet you were like, this isn't necessarily exciting. This isn't like, but I think things have changed. I think you've changed. I think, or maybe it's them. I mean, to go through this, Eight of Cups, with this, someone has been really down deep. They've been in the dirt. They've been in the gutter. They've been broken, and then they've been renewed. So you could still be in this renewal process. You could be over this. It could be the other person. So someone is realizing your value, or you're realizing somebody's value, Capricorn. Like, you know, when you don't have somebody there to celebrate with you, or maybe you have somebody. Maybe you're dating this person, and they're not there, you know? You want to celebrate and go out to dinner and you know, enjoy your success or, you know, enjoy their success, however it is, but they're not there. So it's time to manifest three of cups, somebody new, somebody else, somebody who is there, somebody who's more solid. Ace of coin. Um, let me see something really quick. So again, six of cups, again, past, but doesn't have to be next. Four of swords, think about this. I'm getting very strong message of um, thinking like literally laying down and thinking about who could this person be if some of you don't realize this or don't know let me see messages please for capricorn understanding this person was very understanding number 43 so could break down to the number seven maybe seven is significant past seven years what else please about this person and wishing belonging okay for some of you this person wishes they could be with you they feel like you are home or you wish that about them like when like you guys belong together like there's a sense of being at home when you are with this person they are family you know soulmate family so again understanding and wishing there's something here also about like wishing to have like everything be perfect in a relationship, you know, having all the sex and passion and love and money and fun. And you want everything, which everyone would want. But at the same time, there's like understanding of um, understanding that everybody has flaws because there's something about this person here where I feel like you feel like they're not the one, but yet I feel like they are. Whereas this relationship up here, yeah, if things aren't perfect, we went over that. But this is a this is more about the drama hiding like the issues in in the relationship is what I'm picking up. It's like being attracted to the drama and the excitement and the ups and downs and the emotions and that type of thing as opposed to actually having the love. Maybe some of you are afraid to be in love. You're afraid to be hurt also, or you find love, you know, that's kind of, you know, just that flat line boring or something that I'm picking up and I can feel it. But the nice thing is that this person here, I feel the universe wants the two of you to be together and this person truly loves you. So however this is working, if it's vice versa and you've been wishing this person would understand you or something, 
that's coming in. I think you're going to have a chance for this person. You're going to have a chance to renew this relationship. I feel like they're shining a light, like the moon is kind of the sun. A light will be shown on this person or this relationship, and you're going to realize like they are the one, or they're going to realize that about you, that you are the one. So I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Have a really good week, and take care.